What a weird time in my life. After my near five year relationship ended last year, I thought I would bounce back to my old vibrant self in no time. But since buying my new van, I've struggled to find balance between work and van building. I'm not gonna lie, 2024 started out rough. Luckily, things are finally looking up. If you had asked me when I bought this van how far along in the build I'd be by now, I definitely would have thought I'd be further. When my relationship ended, I bought this van, which was way more expensive than my first van was, and it's not a shared expense. I'm paying for this all on my own. I did have to put some time aside to really focus on my career as a content creator and a social media manager. Luckily, I recently outsourced help to a talent agency, which gave me a lot more of my time back to focus on the van build, and it feels really, really good. So let me show you what I've done so far. The first thing I ever did on this van was install this van. It actually went so smoothly. I did live stream it, and also I am live streaming all my van projects. So even though I'm not posting long form, all the time you can always go there and watch i also post all the installations on my youtube shorts but i had absolutely no issues which was really nice for like the first thing i installed i am currently at my grandmother's house in st augustine florida and if you know anything about st augustine it is a massive tourist town it is always so noisy and i I am trying to work around the noise and I just can't. I thought coming out here to film a video at 8 a.m. would be okay, but it's not working, it's fine. Okay, so the second thing I installed was this Max Skylight. I freaking love it. It brings in so much natural light, but it also kind of like dulls the sun. That install was kind of complicated. I thought it would be easy after the fan install, but cutting a hole that big is actually really difficult. But we got it, I love it, and you can see it on YouTube Shorts. Okay, so the third thing I installed was this big ass window from Van Windows Direct. I freaking love it. It also opens so I can get some ventilation and it has a bug screen, but that window was really hard to install. It was just so big and I was trying to do it on my own. I ended up having to call in backup. If you've watched my van build stuff before, you might know that I like to have a window on every wall in the van. That's kind of a non-negotiable for me in a van build. So I had to install this bunk window right here, which is gonna go above where my Murphy bed will come down, but it also opens and has a bug net. This one's also from Van Windows Direct. Super boring, but I also got my sound dinner installed, which is a very easy install. And then thin slit for my wall insulation. Also a very easy install. I highly recommend it. And then as you can see, I have the framing installed, which is my latest project. I just finished it yesterday. It took me a collective of probably 30 hours, but I am so happy with it. And it honestly went fairly smoothly and I'm really proud that I did it myself. So what's next? Next major projects on the build are gonna be to frame the ceiling, get the subfloor put in. I need to pre-wire this van, which is a big project. I'm still deciding which electrical company I want to go with. And I really wanna get a roof rack installed on the roof so I can put my solar on top of it and get all my electrical going. If you wanna watch installations of these projects, you can watch them on YouTube Shorts or you can watch my live streams. You can go back and watch old ones if you haven't seen them. And I am gonna be creating more long form videos, but they're gonna be more about my personal journey and how the van build is going emotionally. I hope you join in for those too, but if you're not already subscribed, subscribe so you don't miss anything, and I'll see you next time.